Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to another Lentios video. In today's video, if you can tell by the title already, we are telling you how to get rid of a white background in paint and make it transparent. So, this video is partly a lie because you can't make your background transparent in paint. However, you can with Paint 3D, and that is also a free thing that comes with Windows. So that's what we're going to use. Also, there is a thing where they said that you're discontinuing Paint 3D, but you can still download old or cur the current version or older versions of it. Um, I don't know how it's going to work in the future, but right now it comes with Windows computers. So you're going to click New. You're going to go to your menu in the Open, Browse Files, and drag and drop the, or just select it, whatever, photo you want into the Paint 3D. Go up here to the top right, in the top middle, I guess, in the Canvas tab. Then click Transparent uh, Canvas. I don't think you have to do this part right now, but uh, what you do have to do is Magic Select, click that, and then go around your target area. So Paint 3D will automatically try and get the, uh, the focal point of your picture, the one you want. And you come over here to the right, you click Next, turn off Autofill Background, make sure that's not checked, click Done. And now you have your transparent image. As you can see, there's nothing, no background over here when I slide it over here. However, if you try to save it now, it won't work because of the background uh, image that was there. So what you have to do right now is you have to copy the image and you have to go to make a new tab in Paint 3D, which you can go to menu here. And you can click new at the top. Don't save, you don't have to save. And then, you know, click canvas at the top if you're not already on it. Turn on transparent canvas, and then you can paste in your former picture by right clicking and then clicking paste, left cl right clicking and then left clicking to paste. Uh, now this arrow is very big right now for some reason, but I can just size it down using that. And then you have your image. You can simply go to menu and then save as image and you can save it as a PNG or whatever file you want and are need. You can change the width if you want. That's on you, though. Then I'll just save in the bottom right here and call it untitled, whatever. You can go to your file explorer and to your downloads, and then you can see the photo here. And it is now transparent, which is a great help if you're trying to graphically design something or another like that. But anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and like subscribe if this helped. I definitely said that right. Bye.